Okay, so we're going to look at disproportionation reactions. So a disproportionation reaction is a reaction in which the same element is both reduced and oxidised at the same time. So it's different to redox. Redox you have oxidation and reduction occurring at the same time. But here it's the same element that experiences the oxidation and the reduction. So there's two reactions that you must know for your course. The first one is putting chlorine into water. So chlorine reacts with water to make chloric 1 acid and HCl. So the chlorine starts off with oxidation number 0, and then in the HCl it's minus 1, so the chlorine is being reduced. While well, the other chlorine, again it starts off with 0, but it ends up as plus 1 in the chloric acid. That's why it's called chloric 1 acid, because the oxidation number of the chlorine is plus 1. And this is actually a test of chlorine water, because chlorine water will turn blue litmus uh, red because of the HCl, and then it's bleached white because the Cl mo ClO minus ion, the the chloride iron here is a bleaching agent. So, the use of this reaction is uh, that chlorine is added to drinking water because it, on the plus side it kills bacteria. So, uh, it stops things like cholera and things like that spreading. Uh, on the negative side though, it can react with organic matter and produce chlorinated hydrocarbons. And these are suspe uh, suspected of causing cancer. Now the other reaction you need to know is the chlorine reacting with sodium hydroxide and this makes sodium chlorate which we call bleach. Okay? So again it's a disproportionation reaction because again the chlorine starts off as zero and it's minus one in NaCl, the oxidation number of it. And again the oxidation number here is zero, but then it's oxidized to plus one in sodium chlorate. This is sodium chlorate one because again the oxidation number of the chlorine here in sodium chlorate is 1 plus 1. This is what we know as bleach. We can get different types of sodium chlorate though. Here you look, you've got sodium which is plus 1, uh, oxygen, each oxygen is minus 2, there's two of them so it's minus 4, so to be neutral overall, the, uh, uh, or to make a total number of 0, the chlorine must have an oxidation number of plus 3. So here we've got sodium chlorate 3. And we can also get sodium chlorate 5, here we've got plus 1, 3 lots of minus 2, be minus 6, so the chlorine here must be plus 5 if you use sodium chlorate 5. So these numbers here, these Roman numerals, represent the oxidation number of the chlorine, not the number of oxygens.